Wondering where you're going to find something to eat in Port Vila, Vanuatu? Well, let me show you where. When you're on a holiday, the hardest decision is when and where to eat. Luckily, I'm going to give you the inside scoop of where to go in Port Vila, Vanuatu. Whether you've flown here for a break, sailed on a cruise, or just want to know where to eat around town, I'm going to take you to a variety of options that can cater for whatever sort of holiday that you might be taking, whether that's making it yourself or living the high life. You're watching Going Pacific. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. Mwah. Our first stop here is somewhere where you might not consider coming when you're in Vanuatu. Come down to Shepherd Bakery today, which is one of the main ones in Port Vila. Now you might not think of bread as a staple in a tropical island in the South Pacific, but Vanuatu was once colonized by the French and they've definitely left their mark on everyday life here. French style bread is an absolute staple in Vanuatu and the French influence on baking is evident with baguettes, croissants and pain au chocolats being available all over the place. The most common bread is a batard, which is about half the size of a baguette and will set you back about 70 vatu or just under $1 Australian. The bakeries also make many different pastries from things you'd expect like cakes and slices to perhaps more local takes on things like curry breads and coconut buns. If you're in Vanuatu, it's worth checking out one of the many bakeries if you're feeling hungry, as in addition to being very affordable, it's absolutely delicious. How's it going team? I'm down at my local grocery store, all by my Shea number 2. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of options here. Uh, obviously it's a grocery store, so you can get uh, self-catering options, cooking for yourself, uh, and they have a good few options for uh, snacks. Uh, you can also buy some hot takeaway food as well. Alright, let's go and check it out. Au Bon Marché, which is French for the good market, first started as a small grocery store in the 70s before Vanuatu gained its independence on the 30th of July 1980. Over the years, it's grown to be Vanuatu's largest retail and wholesale business with six large supermarkets as well as selling wholesale to restaurants, bars, hotels and other local convenience stores. Referred to as ABM by the locals, they stock a large variety of international brands. If you're coming from Australia, you can basically get all your classic Aussie products like Vegemite, Tim Tams, Shapes, as well as a large variety of lollies and other snacks. They also stock a good amount of products from other countries such as Fiji, Papua New Guinea, France, Asia, as well as New Zealand. If you can do your own cooking at where you're staying, then they have everything you need to get on, including fresh fruits and vegetables, an in-house butcher, as well as a large can and frozen section. If you're not looking to cook, then they also run a hot food bar, which sells a variety of options from hot chicken and chips, sandwiches, and even some curries. You can also buy alcohol here, but they stop selling at 12pm on Saturday until Monday morning. come down to Port Vila Central Market today. We're gonna to go check out what they've got available, what we can buy, what we can eat. Port Vila Central Market is located smack bang in the middle of town, and it's a great place to stop off for your fresh fruits and vegetables at a reasonable price. You can also pick up traditional foods here, as well as sit down and eat at one of the local small restaurants. The produce is all grown in Vanuatu, and it's seasonal, so what you can grab is always changing. I'll put a link to a seasonal produce calendar down in the description. Unfortunately, due to frequent cyclones and tropical storms, the growing cycles can be rather feast or famine. So, just be aware that sometimes the markets can be quite bare if there's been some really bad weather. The new Vanuatu people who run each stall are all helpful and friendly, and we've even had sellers take us from their stalls to others when we've asked for something specific that they didn't have. In addition to the produce, at the back left hand side, there are aunties who cook and sell traditional foods such as tuluk, lap lap, and other local favourites as a bit of a fast food option. Afternoon team, we've come down today to eat at one of the local restaurants at the markets. So at the back of the markets, uh, there's a few rows of these small little kitchens that every day local family run uh, cooks come, 
uh, to make meals for locals as well as visitors to Port Vila Market. Uh, and the food here is absolutely delicious, so it's definitely worth checking out. Some of the stalls have menus, while others just have whatever they happen to be cooking for the day. So feel free to ask the staff what they have at their stalls today and what they recommend. The general process here is ordering from the stall first, then taking a seat. They'll bring the meal out to you, and after you've finished, you'll go up and pay. For lunch today, I've gotten myself a beef fried rice, which is just about to get here. So let's tuck in and try it out. Prices here range from about 500 vatu to around 1,000, which is around $6 Australian to maybe 14. The easiest restaurant for visitors is the one right at the back corner here, with friendly staff and a wonderful view, as well as a menu. But all of the places we've tried in our time in Vanuatu have been great. So if you're feeling more adventurous, just wander down the rows and ask what they have. And you can always come to one of Port Vila's many, many restaurants. Uh, there's so many different types of restaurants around here, different cuisines are uh, definitely worth coming and checking out something in town. We've come down to Chantilly's on the bay for lunch today, so I'll go and show you what they've got. Today at Chantilly's we got ourselves some brunch. I got myself a breakfast burger with a cappuccino, while Mackenzie got an eggs benny and a cup of tea. But Port Vila has a wide variety of restaurants in basically any style you could want, from Japanese to Italian, Indian to classic Aussie pub style, there's something for everyone. Prices vary depending on if you're looking for a budget option or want to go somewhere fancy. But a few of my recommendations are Van Japanese Restaurant for absolutely authentic Japanese cuisine and great views out over the bay. Stone Grill for a fine dining experience with amazing steaks and beautiful sunsets. An M Resort and Spa, which, although is a little way out of town, has amazing food and a great laid-back atmosphere. They've also partnered really well with the local village of Mangalulu, training and employing their staff from the surrounding towns and villages. I hope you found this video useful and it's given you an idea of where to eat when you come to Vanuatu. Please leave me a comment if it did, or if you have any ideas about other places you'd like me to try. Like and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content, it really does help us out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.